Welcome back to another video. Uh, this is an example of converting binary uh, numbers to decimal numbers. Now, this is sort of going back to the basics, really, but how many of you actually remember how to manually do these kind of things, how to manually uh, convert these things? You know, these are things that you learn um, in, you know, freshman year or whatever in your digital computing class, but um, nowadays, I mean, it's been a while, but you have this in your uh, calculators. You can plug this in and just have an answer. But what if your professor asks you to show your work, right? Now, in a typical exam, like FE exam, uh, nobody's going to ask you to show your work or anything like that. But um, you may, they may ask certain things where you actually have to manually compute it, not necessarily just plug in your computer. So it's important to sort of go back to the basics a little bit here and understanding, well, not understanding, but be able to manually do these really, really, really basic things, right? Um, so converting binary to decimal or vice versa. So here it's fairly simple because it's only, you know, four digits here, but um, what if it's long, you know, and you have to drag it and, and um, having to compute that. So this is simple, but at least, you know, kind of let's go back to the basics here a little bit and sort of understand um, how, to, how to compute it. So you're given here one, zero, one, one, uh, which is base 2 binary, um, and then they ask you to find the corresponding uh, decimal number, which is base 10. So again, you can use your calculator, base 2 to base 10, and quickly get the answer, but manually, if you have to do it, all you need to do is just um, multiply this by the base 2 to the power, whatever the standing digit is. So uh, in our example here, let me use a different color, so you start from the right, and then you have 2 to the power 0 for the first one, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, etc. So what you, all you do is just uh, multiply out, right? So you have 1 times 2 to the power 3 plus, you got 0, 2 to the power 2, multiply it by 2 to the power 2 plus 1 multiply by 2 to the power 1 plus 1 times 2 to the power 0. Now you just compute this. 2 to the power 3 is 8, so 1 times 8 is 8 plus uh, 2 to the power 2 is 4, but 4 times 0 is 0, so 2 to the power 1 is 2, uh, times 1 is 2, plus 2 to the power 0 is 1, times 1 is 1. So the final answer here is 8 plus 2 plus 1, and that's 11. So the answer here is C. Now, um, let's erase this and um, have the number 11 and try to go back to decimal. So this is taking me back a few years ago. Um, uh, when you're uh, in your freshman, uh, I think so, some people actually actually take this in elementary, I don't know, but this is very basic really, but we tend to forget sometimes how to how to do the basics, so uh, let's get the number 11 now that we know what the number is, and um, how would you go to des I mean to binary when you have a decimal number? So again, um, you know, we have a number 11, which is 11. So to go to binary, all you do is compute your 2 to the powers um, that, that actually corresponds to the, to, to, to the whatever number it is. So with 11, you know, starting from what is the highest power that uh, corresponds to 11 uh, as far as 2 to the power right so you start with 2 to the power 0 which is 1 2 to the power 1 which is 2 2 to the power 3 so you kind of go all the way until you hit 11 or you pass whatever number it is so 2 to the power 3 that's 8 2 to the power 4 that's 16 so you know that this is not going to be included in it at all right so 2 to the power 3 is 8 so I know I have an 8 here so I have 8 plus um, 
to uh, to the power uh, oh I, I missed the two here sorry uh, let's let me I missed the two I put one three two but um, it's actually sorry go back so this is a two so two to the power two that's four two to the power three is eight and two to the power four that's 16 right so this is not going to be part of it because it's it's higher than 11 it's larger than 11 so you know you're going to start with two to the power three which is eight right so eight so I have a 2 to the power 3 here, which is 8. So am I going to have 2 to the power 2? Yes or no? No. The answer is no. Why? Because 8 plus 4, that's going to be 12. So I'm going to skip that. So now I can add 2 to the power 1, which is 2. So 8 plus 2 is 2. So I still have one number left, which is 2 to the power 0. So I have 2 to the power 0 here which is one and this is equal to 11. So here I'm not going to have any number whatsoever. So then two to the power three would be my binary one, two to the power two, because I'm not multiplying anything here, which is a zero. I'll just put a zero here and then one and then one for this one. So this is, um, you know, how to, how to convert from decimal to, to binary. I know it's basic, but, it's important to be able to ma manually be able to do these sort of things just in case because there's a lot of questions they can ask you um, while you're manually processing these you know what's the corresponding binary number to I don't know 2 to the power to whatever something can happen here with the FE exam or anything like that your professor can ask you to show your work so be prepared for this this is definitely part of um, uh, your electrical engineering classes no matter how basic it sounds or it looks so be prepared for that so let me know if you have any any questions